us. If you're recently unemployed, chances are you may have also lost your employer paid health care benefits. We all know that health insurance is not cheap. So what are your options? Jen Beniza has what you need to know. While so many people are concerned about unemployment and how they're going to pay rent, experts say it's important to not let your medical insurance lapse, especially during a pandemic. The number one reason people go bankrupt or lose all of their assets is if they're uninsured and they have a crisis. Now is not the time to go without health coverage, but paying for insurance can be expensive. The very fact that you lost your job and have lost your income, often unless you have significant savings, makes it difficult to pay that premium on your own. So what are your options? If you find yourself without health insurance, please, please, please apply for Medicaid. Medicaid or MedQuest Hawaii is the state's insurance program. Unlike Medicare, Medicaid is available for those under 65. It's free if you qualify. We highly encourage people to apply and not just assume you're not going to be eligible. Eligibility is determined by income and in some cases assets may be looked at, but other things are not. That extra $600 a week will not be counted towards your eligibility, nor will those stimulus checks that you receive. Nichols says their applications have doubled due to COVID-19, but she says if you apply online, eligibility can usually be determined in one day. If you don't qualify, you still have options. Talk to your doctor or PCP. They may waive fees or allow you to postpone payment. Urgent care facilities are cheaper than regular hospitals. And community health care centers base the cost of your visit off of your income. COBRA insurance is usually offered through former employers. The last thing you want to do is end up in the ER without coverage. An ER visit usually starts at $700. Uh, there's all sorts of technology that's being paid for and it's costly up to thousands of dollars per day. And that's the kind of thing that can break people's savings and that break their will, frankly, when they're unemployed right now. Lieutenant Governor Josh Green says that he'd like to develop a free temporary medical clinic to help those in need. I'll follow up and let you know what happens. Log on to K2N2.com for a list of resources. Jen Boniza, K2N2 News, working for Hawaii.